Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to our workshop, Vision with Children, a challenge, in conjunction with ICCV 2021. Our organizers are listed here. My name is Xin Jie Yao. I'm glad to be the host to give a summary of the workshop. The support institutions are listed at the bottom. Okay, let's get started. Our workshop mainly consists of five parts. First, let's talk about the applications of drones. Drones, or general unmanned aerial vehicles, equipped with cameras, have been fast deployed to a wide range of applications, including agriculture, aerial photography, fast delivery, and surveillance. Consequently. Automatic understanding of visual data collected from these platforms become highly demanding, which brings computer vision to joins more and more closely. We are excited to present a large-scale benchmark with carefully annotated ground truth for various important computer vision tasks, named with joins, to make vision meet joins. Before this. We have successfully held with Jones workshop many times. With Jones workshop started in 2018 and was held in Munich, Germany. It was held in Seoul, South Korea, in 2019 and online in 2020. Next, let's review with Jones 2021 challenge. The Vistron 2021 dataset is collected by the AI Sky I team at the Lab of Machine Learning and Data Mining, Tianjin University, China. The benchmark dataset consists of 400 video clips formed by 265,228 frames and 10,209 static images. Captured by various drone-mounted cameras, covering a wide range of aspects, including location, taken from 14 different cities separated by thousands of kilometers in China, environment, urban and country, objects, pedestrian, vehicles, bicycles, and so on, and density, sparse and crowded scenes. Note that. The dataset was collected using various drone platforms, that is, drones with different models, in different scenarios, and under various weather and lighting conditions. These frames are manually annotated with more than 2.6 million bounding boxes or points of targets of frequent interest, such as pedestrians, cars, bicycles, and tricycles. Some important attributes, including scene visibility, object class, and occlusion, are also provided for better data utilization. We invite researchers to participate in the challenge and to evaluate and discuss their research at the workshop, as well as to submit papers describing the research, experiments, or applications. Based on the Vistron 2021 dataset, the challenge mainly focuses on three tasks. Task one, object detection challenge. The task aims to detect objects of predefined categories, for example, cars and pedestrians, from videos taken from drones. Task two, multi-object tracking challenge. The task aims to recover the trajectories of objects in each video frame. Task three, crowd counting challenge. The task aims to count vehicles and people in each video frame. The scope of the workshop comprises all aspects of image and video analysis with respect to drone platform, including but not limited to the following topics. Object detection and tracking, large-scale learning, visual surveillance and tracking in crowded scenes, traffic flow analysis, motion trajectory analysis, 
human and vehicle indexing and retrieval in video sequences, and dataset proposals and bias analysis. We are pleased to announce the VIX June 2021 Object Detection in Images Challenge. This competition is designed to push the state of the art in object detection with the Juven platform forward. Teams are required to predict the bounding boxes of objects of 10 predefined classes, that is, pedestrian, person, car, van, bus, truck, motor, bicycle, owning tricycle, and tricycle with real valued confidences, some rarely occurring special vehicles, for example, machine shop truck, forklift truck, and tanker are ignored in evaluation. The challenge containing 10,209 static images, 6,471 for training, 548 for validation, and 3,190 for testing, captured by drone platforms in different places at different height, are available on the download page. We manually annotate the bounding boxes of different categories of objects in each image. In addition, we also provide two kinds of useful annotations, occlusion ratio and truncation ratio. Specifically, we use the fraction of objects being occluded to define the occlusion ratio. The truncation ratio is used to indicate the degree of object parts appears outside a frame. If an object is not fully captured within a frame, we annotate the bounding box across the frame boundary and estimate the truncation ratio based on the region outside the image. It's worth mentioning that a target is skipped during evaluation if its truncation ratio is larger than 50%. Annotations on the training and validation sets are public available. The Vistruen 2021 Multi-Object Tracking Challenge requires the evaluated algorithm to recover the trajectory of objects in sequences. We provide 96 challenging sequences for this task. Each algorithm is evaluated based on the intersection of a union between chocolate and ground truth. Given an input video sequence, multi-object tracking aims to recover the trajectories of objects in the video. The challenge provides 96 challenging sequences including 56 video sequences for training, 24,201 frames in total, 7 sequences for validation, 2,819 frames in total, and 33 sequences for testing, 12,968 frames in total, which are available on the download page. We manually entered the bounding boxes of different categories of objects in each video frame. In addition, we also provide two kinds of useful annotations, that is, occlusion ratio and truncation ratio. Specifically, we use the fraction of objects being included to define the occlusion ratio. For truncation ratio, is used to indicate the degree of object parts appears outside a frame. If an object is not fully captured within a frame, we annotate the bounding box across the frame boundary and estimate the truncation ratio based on the region outside the image. It's worth mentioning that a target is skipped during evaluation if its truncation ratio is larger than 50%. Annotations on the training and validation sets are public available. The Vistruen 2021 Crowd Counting Challenge requires participating algorithms to count persons in each frame. The goal of counting algorithms is to estimate the number of people in an image. We provide a dataset with pairs of RGBT images. Each algorithm is evaluated through computing the number of people, 
mean absolute error and mean squared error between the predicted number of people and ground truth in evaluation. After four years of development, our dataset increased from 263 to 400 videos. The number of participating teams increased from 66 to 208, and the number of accepted papers increased from zero to nine. To our delight, many teams performed well in the competition. Task one: Object detection in images. There are 113 teams competing in the task. Among them, the winner goes to the research team, Deep Blue Technology, Shanghai, China. They proposed an algorithm about detection in image challenge. Their authors are Zhe Wang, Jian Ye He, Zheng Yu Xu, Zhi Ming Zhang, Zhi Guang Zhang, Zhi Peng Luo. For the two honorable mentions. We have two algorithms. The first one is scaled Euler v4 with transformer and BIFPN from Shidian University, China. They are Xiao Changlu, Guo Jingcao, Zi Xiao Zhang, Yu Tingyang. The second one is swing transformer object detection with coarse segmentation. From Xi'an University of Technology, China, the team member is Hong Kai Wang. Task two: Multi-object tracking. This task is very challenging. There are 18 teams competing in the task. Among them, the winner of task two is from Deep Blue Technology, Shanghai, China. The title they submitted was "Simple Online Multi-Object Tracker." They are Zhi Peng Luo, Yue Hang Yao, Zheng Yu Xu. We also have a honorable mention. The title is "GIAO Tracker," a comprehensive framework, or MCMOT, with global information. And optimizing strategies in this June 2021. The team member is Yun Hao Du from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications, China. Task three: Crowd counting. There are 77 teams competing in this task. Among all the submissions, the team from Huazhong University of Science and Technology got the best results. The title is "RGBT Images Crowd Counting Using Swing Transformer." The team member are Ding Kangliang, Xi Wu Chen, Wei Xu, Xiang Bai. For the two honorable mentions, we have two teams. The first one is. Density map learning based crowd counting method for visual RGBT images from Wuhan University, China. They are Guan Chengding, Lin Zhou, Ding Ding, Wen Wei Han, Yi Ran Tao, Jing Yuan Chen, Zhen Zhong Chen. The second one is hierarchical dynamic. Filtering network with Bayesian loss for RGBT IR crowd counting from Xi'an Jiao Tong University, China. The team member is Ya Bing Wang. Congratulations to all the teams who worked so hard. The advisory committee members are Ming Liu from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, China. Qinghua Hu from Tianjin University, China. Stephen Hoi from Singapore Management University, Singapore. Junwei Han from Northwestern Polytechnic University, China. Luke Van Gua from 
ETH Zurich, Switzerland。